Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Dos Cavazos here. I'm Anthony. I'm Casey. And today we are watching the fourth episode of Chernobyl. So we've heard a lot about this episode. <laughs> Not a lot in the sense we don't know anything that happens, but we heard it is a doozy. Yeah. Um, so I have so many of you. <laughs> toilet paper for <laughs> toilet tissue. Toilet paper tissues prepared. Yeah. And yeah, I'm just. It's going to be sad, I feel like, well, okay, I kind of think I know what it's hinting at because in the last episode they said, like, you need to, we're going to have to do all these things to prepare basically the area, so mm -hmm. they have to go get all the animals, which is, I know where that's going. Well, they said they're going to yeah. have to, yeah, you know, turn over the land, take care of the animals, but you know what that yeah. probably means, Because if they were to venture out, they could, you know... Spread the spread, spread, spread the, the radiation. Yeah, the spread disease. the disease. My bad. Sorry. Spread yeah. Spread radiation yeah. poisoning. It's like the Walking Dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just sad about that. And then today's a sad day also. Yeah. Because of Kobe Bryant, rest in peace, yes. and his daughter. And his daughter. That very, was just like sad such day. sad news this morning, and I'm just sad about it. It really puts things into perspective. Uh, you never know when your last day on Earth may be. Yeah. And. Um, you know, in a situation like, you know, Kobe Bryant and his daughter, too, um, that's just, like, you know, super sad. But in, in this situation, too, like, none of these people who were involved in the situation knew what was going to happen. Um, I know this is a dramatization of it, but, you know, these people did actually lose their lives. There were a significant yeah. amount of people mm -hmm. that lost their lives. Yeah, significant. So, and had effects, yeah. you know, for so, the rest of their lives. Tell your loved ones you love them, no matter what. Um, you know, don't hold grudges because yeah. you never know what could happen, unfortunately. Yeah. But and live your best life. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into this episode. I'm really looking forward to it. I can't believe we are only we only have two episodes left yeah, with this one of this series, and I can't even believe it. But you know, it's it's very good so far. Very well done. We've said that so many times. The mm -hmm. subject matter is so hard to watch, um, but you don't want to not watch it because yeah. it's just so good. So let's go ahead and see what episode four is all about. <laughs> Milk. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a cow. To go. It's not safe here. There's radiation in the air. What's wrong with you? She doesn't care. I'm 82. I well, lived here my whole life. And I stayed, and I'm still here. Yeah, I know. After all that I have seen. Give her a weird look. Force of first to leave. Why waste that good milk? Well, the cows probably has their... Oh, yeah, What's wrong right. with it? All the people they've been picking up. It's just sad, because they need to leave, but that's been our whole life. It's time to go. She's gonna keep milking. Mm-hmm. Please, stand up now. The older you get, the less of a... You know what? You give. <gasps> this is your last warning. Mm. Oh. 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 They killed the cow? Oh. It's time to go. The cow, it wasn't doing anything. Oh my gosh, they gotta show us the eye? I don't know, how would that bullet kill, did it shoot it in the head? Probably, yeah. I was like, how would it kill that big old cow? I guess unless you shot in the head. Four months. Wow. Let's jump forward a bit. Was that his wife? I think so. That yeah, the hair. Is she back in her apartment? Maybe she's gonna like gather her belongings or something. Maybe. Oh yeah, she's pregnant. More so. That window's where we first saw the explosion mm -hmm. from too, right? Mm-hmm. The atom is a humbling thing. Not humbling, it's humiliating. The debris on the roof is graphite from the core itself. Until we can push it off the roof back into the reactor, it'll kill anyone who gets near it. Mm. Moon rovers. Unicard's STR-1s. They're light, and if we line them with lead, they can withstand the radiation. We couldn't put a man on the moon. At least we can keep a man off a roof. You would just stand there in full protective gear, head to toe for Two minutes, your life expectancy would be cut in half. By three minutes, you're dead within months. Oh, Even whoa. though God, this won't work on Masha. All the people they recruited. Mm -hmm. Man, they look so young. Oh, oh throwing up. It's already affecting some of these guys. I mean, I know, like... You got some of them getting sick there, but do you think they really know, like, the full extent of this, or do you think they weren't even privy to that information? I don't know. 
I feel like in the show they want you to think like they were just recruited. Um, but I feel like they had to know, you know, like somewhat what they were getting into mm -hmm. beforehand. It's all right. It's free. Just start drinking. It's a little early. <laughs> I'm not in the military. They're running out of men. Showers, food. Those guys, they dig up the ground. Those guys, they cut down trees. Those guys, they evacuate people, I think, like villages. What about them? I don't know them. Fuck them. <laughs> Yeah, they're saying all the stuff that they needed to be doing. Yeah. So one, he's with me. You understand? Nobody <laughs> fucks with them. We make these from lead scrap. Put it on under your balls. Now? No, no, you can wait until the radiation gives you a cunt. Yes, now. <laughs> Interesting. Over your an egg basket. Fucking yeah. Shit. Smart, though. I mean, I don't know if it'll help, but hopefully more than not. Yeah. You ever go hunting? No. Well, today's your lucky day. You, I have mean, a bad feeling about that. That ugly Armenian in the tent, Daryl. We do animal control. Mm. Animal control. Yeah, they're radioactive, so they have to go. But it's not hard. No. They're mostly pets. They're happy to see you. They run right up to you. Mm, Bang! Oh Load the bodies on the so truck, much. dump them in a pit, bury them in concrete, and then we drink. I wonder if she's still trying to figure out why it, why that like button didn't to, work. Yeah. I think now her yes. mi mission. I need to see the following Making documents. sure it never happens Let again. Just permission only. She can have that one. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they're just bulldozing all the vegetables. Oh man. There's just like so much more that went into this than I ever mm. would have imagined. Like the cleanup effort is just massive. The Central Committee have informed me that they may have found something that could work up there, on the outside. American? Of course not. <laughs> it's German police robots, but West German, so as you can imagine, that wasn't an easy conversation to have. Molly, what's that? It's mine. <laughs> He's still alive, wow. Looks a lot better. Still rude. I guess he never really left the control room until he had to go report on it, so he never had to do what his men, what he sent his mm -hmm. men out to go do. Akimov initiated AZ-5. When you gave mm -hmm. the order... Order? What order? Tomtonov caught it out, Akimov pressed it. How do I even know it exploded, huh? Oh my god, he's still in denial. Look, there's a picture of it. And this is four it. months later. He can't just be oblivious to the yeah. fact. Someone's had to have told him. I found this in the state archive. Written in 1976. It's about the operation of RBMK reactors under extreme conditions. So? The names of the authors have been redacted, and two pages have been removed. Well, the state must protect its secrets, comrade. They didn't redact the table of contents. Mm. I'm not here to blame you. I'm here to find out what happened. Ask the bosses whatever you want, you'll get the lie. No, we will get the bullet. Because <sighs> he's in charge of it, so... He was responsible. If he wasn't, like, directly responsible. Oh, no. No. Mm. No! <laughs> I only have two rules. One. Don't point this gun at me. Two. If you hit an animal... And it doesn't die. Keep shooting until it does. Don't let them suffer. Mm. Or I'll kill you. Understand? Oh. I mean it. I respect that. Yeah, I do too. Killed a lot of people. I feel like the fact that he brought that up, something's gonna happen. We might not have the heart to do it. At least they're not like, he knows it's not just like for fun, you know, like it's not like a fun thing. Yeah. Like, they're doing it because it has to be done. Once we start, they'll run inside where they feel safe. So we go door to door. Okay? Good. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see I hope they don't show what happened. Mm -hmm. No. I'm like already 
crying. I can't. I'm probably like hungry. Mm. Just you still hear it. Why don't you shoot it right? Don't Please just don't let it be it. sad. Oh my god. Oh no. Don't let them suffer. Sorry. Sorry. No, oh, that was so difficult. Oh. You gonna eat? I would not be able to eat. I hope that part's no, over. I hope they don't go back to that be... anymore. Yes, this I'm done with episode. that. Thank you. We get it. It's like more sad because they were just pets. Like, you know, they weren't like these wild animals terrorizing. Is this the thing they got from Germany they were talking about? No, I don't think so. How are they gonna get on the roof? I guess, air, I mean, helicopter? The last one. Oh, oh no! Really? Oh, they lost a visual! I wonder if it's still working. I hope it doesn't fall off the edge. Did you lose the signal? We only moved it up a meter. Not the signal, it's the vehicle. It's dead. Because I know they're listening! I want them to hear! I want them to hear it all! You know what we're doing here? Wow. I don't think wow. anybody know, knew that that could have happened, though. I mean, they thought it could withstand it. Tell them! Wow. Whoa. Why he's so upset? He's still trying to fight. The official position of the state is that a global nuclear catastrophe is not possible in the Soviet Union. They told the Germans that the highest detected level of radiation was 2,000 Rontgen. They gave them the propaganda number. Propaganda number? That robot was never going to work. Wow. You need a new phone. <laughs> and a new robot. You're always drinking vodka. If you don't clear the roof, we can't build a cover over it. What about lead? You melt it and pour it from above, like a coating? First of all, we've already used most of the lead we had to line the no. truck. What if we shoot the graphite into the hole? You want to shoot exploding bullets at an exposed nuclear reactor? Well, no, no. <laughs> Let's go light that roof back on fire. It was so easy to put out the first one. <laughs> what are we talking about here? I mean, they're just trying to spitball yeah, ideas. Just... We need another robot. Anything. We use bio robots. Hmm. Ben. Oh, uh, no! I wanted to be done with this. We got the point the first time. <sighs> I want to see it again. <laughs> Those poor babies. Why do they have to show it? Like. <laughs> I guess they're really just trying to show you what they have to deal with. At least you took care of it faster than last time. You had to grow up on the fly. Eat the chickens. And they eat each mm. other. Oh, yeah. They're starving. Yeah. I mean, there's been no one to feed them, I'm assuming, for four months. Door to door. Yeah. Mm. 
A mm. cat. Oh, those little kitties. I wonder if there's like a dog maybe that's like too far gone that might attack them, you know? When they're in starvation mode, I would imagine they're just food at that oh. point. Maybe it got hurt. Is it puppies? Oh no, no, no. It's gonna be puppies. What's wrong with it? Oh, is it a dog eating a dog? Oh no! Go outside. Mm. You didn't make him do it. What are they eating? Uh, maybe oh. chicken. I don't want them to show it. I respect this guy though. Like he understands how much of a struggle it is for him. I mean, how old do you think this guy is really? He was in high school probably. Hmm. I hope we killed the mom first so that I didn't have to see her babies die. Soviet people have had enough of this accident. They want us to clean it up, and we have entrusted you with this serious task. You will each have no more than 90 seconds to solve this problem. Listen carefully to each of my instructions, and do exactly as you have been told. You will enter reactor building three. Climb the stairs, but do not immediately proceed to the roof. When you get to the top, wait inside behind the entrance to the roof and catch your breath. You will need it for what comes next. This is the working area. They're using... We must clear the graphite. Some of it is in blocks weighing approximately 40 to 50 Maybe kilograms. Labor. They all must be thrown over the edge here. They're using... You will need to move quickly and you will need to move People. carefully. Which they couldn't find another it. solution. That's terrifying. I did not you know this like... is what he meant when he said that. Gonna get as much as you can, I guess. Oh my gosh. That's gonna take forever! That's why I have like such a, a line of people. They're just rotating. Don't look over the rail. Cause that's like the blown reactor right there. Oh my gosh. Oh hard. yeah, there. Oh, their hand is too close to it. I know. It's like too close to their leg. One of them's gonna fall or something. Oh, okay. Gosh, that he like kind of oh. took a mist up there. The the noise of the detector yeah, too like, is like so like scary. Someone's gonna fall off. Oh my gosh. I feel like my heart's racing right now. That's terrifying. I have to go back. Oh, okay, it's time. Go, go, go. Get out. Go, Leave. Watch your step. Oh, oh no! no! Uh, Did he get stuck? Yes. Damn it. Did he have to take his shoe off? Oh no, this is just not. Oh my god. Oh, oh my no. god. Comrade soldier. You're done. Tell him. Oh, oh, she's going into labor? Contractions? I'm so scared for her baby. We needed to speak to you somewhere without. <laughs> We're going to put the Atlov on trial. And Rukhanov and Fanin. We're going to be asked to give expert testimony. Well, then you'd better know what happened. I've constructed a timeline, minute by minute. Second by second in some places. Every decision, every button push, every turn of a switch. And? Are they guilty? Yes. Of gross incompetence, violation of safety regulations, recklessness beyond belief. But the explosion? I'm not sure. They shut the reactor down, and then it exploded. I think this article may have the answer. But two pages have been removed. I had no idea it could cause an explosion. None of us knew. None of you knew what? In 1975, at an RBMK reactor at Leningrad, a fuel channel ruptured. 
The operators pressed AZ-5, but instead of the power going down immediately, for a brief moment, it went up. Under normal circumstances, the control rods can compensate for that. Under normal circumstances, the Chernobyl staff stalled the reactor during the test. They pulled almost all the control rods out to bring the power back up. This is what Volkov learned from Leningrad. If the boron control rods are completely withdrawn from the reactor, when they're put back in, the first thing that enters the core isn't boron. It's graphite. Why on earth would they press that button? They didn't know. The KGB classified it as a state secret. Mm. The floor will not lead to an explosion unless the operators have pushed the reactor to the edge of disaster. So it is their mm. fault? Yes. But not only their fault. But they're going to get the blame, though. Is that what you're going to say, Vienna? Pushing it too hard. Been looking in on his widow. She gave birth. A girl. Mm -hmm. The baby lived for four hours. <sighs> they said the radiation would have killed the mother, but the baby absorbed it instead. Oh, a baby. My God. We live in a country where children have to die to save their mothers. Mm. To hell with your deal. I can't even, oh wow, I didn't know that. To hell with our lives. Someone has to start telling the truth. She doesn't have her baby. Okay, so this show is just not getting any easier at all. Mm -mm. It's actually gotten worse um, to watch and to sit through. Oh my gosh, the dogs, that the baby. That was horrible, the baby, oh my gosh. Finding out that this was part of like the government's fault as well too, mm -hmm. like not allowing them the when they brought the that knowledge 10 years prior to yeah. implement it. It's oh just my gosh. so much, I'm sad. so much, and it's just... It's difficult to sit through. <sighs> and I just don't know where they're going to go from this. Obviously, going back to the very first episode, he made those tapes. So I'm assuming mm -hmm. that when he sits down in this trial to give his testimony, he is not going to say it, I mm -hmm. think. is that That's probably what's going to happen. Then he's going to come back like a little while later and then actually Maybe. leave those tapes for somebody. Um, but what do you think? Yeah, I think that probably is what's going to happen too. Um, I like this episode because it was a slower pace, but I feel like they did that intentionally so you can like feel every moment, you know, like how felt them. how the people in those moments are feeling as well, and then like you can just kind of absorb the information. Like if they would have done the dog part differently, which is what I wanted them to do, but I understand if they would have just done like a even just like a mention or just like a quick one scene of that, you know. Like, we wouldn't have gotten the full effect. Yeah. They made you feel Same it, Same with, like, everything else. Like, all the scenes were very drawn out, but it was intentional for you to, you know, really understand what was going on and feel it. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. It's just a... <laughs> I really wish they wouldn't have shown too much of the dogs, I but know. I know. It it's just, it's really hard, especially when you have a dog. If, yeah, you're, a, if think, you're a pet owner, yeah, it's really it's difficult, difficult to difficult watch. Because, you know, like, pets are family. You yeah, know. and there's like they depend on you for everything. So it's just sad to think that people had to leave them. And, you know, like they just were waiting for their owner to come back, yeah. you know. So it's just sad to think about that. No, it's tough. And I understand why all of you were like, episodes four is going to be really difficult for you. Yeah. I'm yeah. I'm curious to see how this next episode plays mm -hmm. out. I want to see how this all one. concludes. The finale. Um, I'm really interested to watch the uh, the little documentary. I don't know if it's a documentary, but it's yeah, a... Yeah, uh, like the epilogue, I guess. Yeah, of them actually explaining a little mm -hmm. bit more about it. Yeah, I'm very we're curious watch to watch that. that. So. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll post that as well to our reaction to that one. Mm -hmm. uh, probably probably on a day or so after we yeah. uh, refinish our, our episode five. Um, but... One episode left. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe mm -hmm. if you haven't already. And we'll catch you next time. Bye.